Black and Jill Foster here for your next PB&J card class. On today's card, I'll be using this new Penny Black stamp illustrated by Mo Manning and it's called Giggles. And I'll be combining it with Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft products to do some watercoloring to color in our image. So here's a look at a set of cards all using the same technique and we'll actually be creating this card in the video today. And I was so excited when I saw this stamp come out on the new Penny Black catalog because as a little girl our first dog was a Boston Terrier. So just for fun I threw in a picture here of me and our first Boston Terrier clipper. So to begin um, I've stamped my image with archival black ink onto watercolor pencil. And I'm actually going to do just the skin tones with the Faber-Castell Gelato in the color of peach. And I've chosen this because it's just, I really like this color. I feel like it's perfect for skin tone. You just need one layer on there. So I'm just coloring it right onto the image. And then I'm going to use a water brush. But you could also use just a regular paintbrush dipped into water. And I'm starting in the center of the image, so in the white part, and moving out towards the part that I colored in. So it's a simple way to blend, so starting on the white and moving on to the colored area. And what this does is it allows you to lay down some water before you move into the pigment, and it makes it easy to blend. So I'm just doing that all for her skin tone, and this is the only time I'm going to use the gelato on this, just for the skin tone. And I have just a scratch sheet of watercolor paper on the side here to sort of clean off my brush before I move to a different color. Now I'm just going to zoom in here for you so you can really see what I'm doing. Now this is the Faber-Castell Art Grip Aquarelle Watercolor Pencils. And that's what I'll be using here for most um, of her coloring. So here I just colored a little bit on her cheeks and I'm just dabbing some water on there to blend that. Now we're going to start here with our headband and I'm just laying down a layer of that color so just coloring it on with the Aquarelle watercolor pencil. And now I'm using my water brush starting by putting water down on the white area and then working my way into the part that I colored. You can see just how simple that is to blend. Now anytime you want to remove or move the ink to create more of a white or a highlight you want to have less water on your brush. So you'll see me dab over on that scratch paper, or that watercolor paper. You could use a paper towel as well to remove some of the water from my, the tip of my brush. Then I can go in and lighten some areas and that will actually pick up the water and some of the pigment that's on where you've colored. So now I'm back with my pencil here, just coloring in the areas where it would be darkest and then also sort of around the edges. And I am pressing pretty hard because I want to get a nice bold color. So it's pretty hard pressure as I color that down. It just lays down more pigment. So starting in the white with the water brush and then moving my way up to that area that I've colored and then just blending. So again, starting with the white and sort of pushing that into the area that I colored. If you get where it feels like everything's starting to turn the same color, then you just want to dab that off to the side, take some of that pigment off, and then you can go back in and lighten or sort of pick up color. So starting on the white and then working my way into that other area. And I really like how with just one color here, you can get so many shades from dark to light. So I'm just going to follow that same process here on the cushion that she's sitting on. So I'm going to color it down with the watercolor pencil and I'll go back with my water brush to do the blending.
wanted to show you here how you can do watercoloring with your markers. So here I've just used a Faber-Castell Stampers Big Brush pen and I've colored onto an acrylic block and then I'm just dipping my water brush into that color to pick it up. So I'm essentially creating a palette by coloring onto that acrylic block with the marker. And then you can go in and paint that onto directly onto your stamped image. And I always like to start light, especially with blacks or grays, because you can always go back in and add more color. But if you go really dark, then it's, you know, it's really hard to lighten up that deep of a color, like a black. And then you can see here, if I wanted to darken up a few spots, I'm just going in and putting another layer on top. Then you just wipe that right off your acrylic block and add your next color. So I'm gonna use the same process for her hair. So I've colored with the Faber-Castell Stampers Big Brush pen and then I'm just picking that color up with the water brush Now what you can also do, because I right before I picked up the markers, I put down quite a bit of water on top of that. And you can go in with these markers right on top. So they're India ink, so you have a little bit of play before they dry. Um, once they dry, they're permanent, but you can go in if, if you've put a base of water first or like primed your surface with water, you can go directly with the marker onto the image. And I'm just gonna use that same brown to do her boots. And I'll follow that same process, so first putting down a layer with the water brush. And then while that's wet, I can go in directly with the marker just to deepen it up in a few areas. So you could, could have done her hair and the dog and her boots all with watercolor pencils, but I just wanted to show you a couple other variations um, where you can do get a watercolor look with markers. So one of my favorite things to do to finish off a watercolored image is to add sort of that halo of color um, for what you could consider the sky and the ground. And I think it really finishes off the image. So I'm just taking um, that watercolor pencil and I've colored a, right around the image. And I'm starting on the white, putting down a layer of color, and then working my way towards that where I've colored. So you'll see here, I'm going to start on the white and then move down into that colored image. And that just really helps it blend, sort of fade out into the background. And here you can see I'm just picking up a little bit of that color um, from the bottom there where it's pretty heavy and just adding it really lightly around her hair. I'm going to do the same thing to ground her, um, so to give her a little bit of ground. So I'm just coloring with that watercolor pencil. And this one actually is a silver, so it gets a little bit of a shimmer to it. Then I'll go in starting on the white and work my way up to the area that I colored.
And all I've done is add this to some mix and match cardstock, stamped a sentiment, and added a little bit of washi tape. And I created a couple other cards um, using penny black stamps, same technique, and even some of the same colors, and uh, for you to see. Thanks so much for watching, and there is a list of supplies at the end of the video.